All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, GLP-1 receptor analogs, everything you need to know in five minutes. So how do these drugs work? Um, three main mechanisms. They lower blood glucose. That's at the level of the pancreas. They're able to achieve that by promoting insulin. They reduce gastric emptying, so you feel full longer. And then centrally, they act to promote satiety, which is a fancy way of saying uh, the feeling of being full. Uh, fun fact, the active molecule in GLP-1 analogs something almost identical is found in the saliva of the Gila monster shown in the top corner here. So um, the drugs you're probably most familiar with is semaglutide. It's a once-weekly injection. Yes, there are other GLP-1 receptor analogs uh, on the market, but this is by far, I would argue, the most effective um, and also clearly the most popular. For type 2 diabetes, the uh, brand name is Ozempic, and for obesity, the brand name is Wagovi. Uh, you'll see here how you dose the medication. Uh, you can pause the screen. Just note that a higher maximum dose is used for obesity compared to type 2 diabetes. Uh, there's also a oral pill available. Um, it's known as ribelsis. Again, this one is only for type 2 diabetes, and you can pause the screen here to learn more about how it's dosed. So what are the indications and contraindications? So uh, the medication is indicated for adults with type 2 diabetes, as well as adults who don't have diabetes, if they have a BMI uh, greater than or equal to 30, or a BMI of 27 or higher with at least one weight-related comorbidity, such as high blood pressure, dyslipidemia, etc. The contraindications are rare, so if there's a family history or a personal history of medullary thyroid carcinoma or MEN2 syndrome, both of these are incredibly rare, so I find it doesn't come up very often clinically. I should note, um, regardless of somebody's renal function, you can use this drug, okay? So renal failure is not a contraindication. Uh, benefits in type 2 diabetes, so they um, reduce somebody's hemoglobin A1c. They also do not cause hypoglycemia. They lead to weight loss, so approximately 15% weight loss um, relative to somebody's body weight. They're also cardioprotective, so they're known to improve blood pressure by 5 millimeters of mercury. They also reduce a, a person's risk of heart attack, stroke, or death from cardiovascular causes. As well, for adults with type 2 diabetes and heart failure, um, with a somewhat preserved ejection fraction, they improve heart failure symptoms. And then finally, and very impressively, they reduce a person's risk of end-stage renal disease, such as needing dialysis or a marked worsening in the renal function. Um, how about the benefits for adults with obesity who do not have type 2 diabetes? So again, they're known to improve weight by 15 to 20 percent. They also reduce a person's risk of cardiovascular events. In particular, this is for adults who have obesity and they're at increased uh, risk of cardiovascular events. So the reduction is a reduction in myocardial infarction, stroke, or death from cardiovascular causes. What are the side effects of GLP-1 analogs? Um, most common is gastrointestinal, so nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. One way to mitigate this is to slowly uptitrate the dose. Another way is to set expectations appropriately. You need to tell patients that the vast majority will experience these symptoms. That way, when they do experience them, they're already aware of it. I find if you don't set expectations accordingly, patients will have these side effects and stop them. Uh, stop the drug that is. It's also important to uh, reassure patients that these do get better. It just takes time. What are some rare side effects? So gallstones is certainly uh, one side effect. Pancreatitis, I'm not so sure anymore. There have been some uh, reports of this, but more recent studies have shown there does not appear to be an increased risk of pancreatitis. We recently created a website called glp1rx.com. We'll include the link in the show notes below. But this tool is meant for family doctors, generalists, uh, pharmacists. You can type in information related to your patient, and then it gives you um, the benefits as well as talks about the risks, how to write a prescription, etc. Um, you can pause on this slide, but this is sort of an overview of everything we talked about, um, the indications, the contraindications, the benefits, as well as the side effects. 
Uh, so finally, and most importantly, thank you to Prachi Ray, who helped to create these slides uh, with a lot of feedback from Patricia Olar, um, Katarina Zorcic, and Tamara Van Bakel. And thank you to the PSI Foundation, which provided the funding to facilitate this work and other knowledge translation work to improve the use of this medication and other effective medications for adults with type 2 diabetes. Thanks so much and have a great day.